Hey everybody! I'm back and I'm actually really excited to do this video. Um, I've been following the all the social media about these capsule chicks. These are by Moose Toys. Um, they're very they're very um, Japanese is uh, uh, Oriental, whatever. Um, you actually see a little bit of that type language on the side here. If it's not just made up, I don't know, because <laughs> I don't know any other languages. Um, but uh, this is there's a uh, there's a whole bunch of different collections. I think there's three or four different collections that you can choose from. So I guess you're guaranteed to not get a double if you get the right box color. Now this is the purple box color, obviously, and uh, we got a um, pink dial here, and this is the Giga Glam collection. And it says which. Look, will you find? It also says that there's 15, uh, five surprise capsules inside with 15 plus pieces. Um, very, very gorgeous box art, I have to say. Uh, the presentation is sweet. It says dial up your style. Uh, I've seen this online. You actually do turn this, so we'll see how good it works. Uh, you can see the capsules right here loaded up on the side here. It says capsule chick. Uh, let's see. On the back here it says, Capsule Chick, let your let your style surprise you with Capsule Chick. The head-turning cyber styles, stylers who always look unique. Cheek. Enter the future of fashion where every capsule delivers a fresh new addition to your wardrobe. Mix and match pieces to create looks that are truly one of a kind. Let your style run wild. And then it says, will you find the limited edition doll inside? So I'm assuming this is a, um, a sketch or uh, the box art design of the limited edition for this series, for this collection. Um, over here we see a couple other, we see some more art here. And then it says, built to be posable. These dolls, these small little dolls, and I think they're going to be about this big, um, have 14 points of articulation. That is what I'm excited about. I can't believe there's that much articulation in such a small doll. Uh, but I guess if anyone could do it, Moose Toys can. It says, uh, which unique look will you create? Here's some more artwork. Really pretty. And then it says there's over 4 billion looks to build across Series 1. Over 400 pieces to collect. So I don't know if, like, you might get a head with a different outfit in each one, or if each box has the same outfit with the same girl. I don't really know. But they are buildables. Um, so I don't really know what to expect other than what I've seen. Um, I'm going to take the... Is there clear plastic? Yeah, I'm going to take the clear plastic off this, and I will be right back. Okay, so I got all the plastic taken off. And now if it'll just focus for me. I wanted to let you guys know that it's for ages 6 and up. So, um, And also on the top it says open to reload. Um, it looks like they're advertising this to be a reusable uh, cardboard box. It is built pretty okay, I guess. But let's... Um, so it looks like we open this flap right here, maybe? Oh, okay. So, oh, I think this whole thing... Did that whole thing come off here? I don't know. Oh yes, this whole thing comes off here. And then we push here and pull. Oh, okay. It looks like we have a checklist inside here. Should we take a look at that now? Why not? We're already we're already on use time here. So it it it, it looks like a magazine. And it says capsule chick, uh, every, pretty much everything that the front, it says glitter, sparkle, frills, and thrills, um, style reboot. These girls kind of remind me of robotic girls, I think they're, or they're futuristic girls, maybe from another planet, or, you know, when the, in the age of the robots, when the robots take over, that's what, you know, the, they're human robots, I don't know. But, uh, look for the ultra rare fabric. So, Okay. So, fabric is ultra rare, but it is available. <laughs> um, okay, so this shows you the futuristic fashions. The Glitter Glam collection. This shows you who's that girl. This shows you all the different faces that are available, I think. 
in this collection. Um, all the, there's some, some shoes and purses. I don't know if those are all of them or if those are just some of them. I'm not sure. Um, and then it says Restyle Remix. Um, it looks like these are all different bodies. I don't know how this checklist works. Um, but here's another look. Get the look. Hair goals. Here's some cool hair. Oh man, I have a sticky suspicion I'm going to like these. Here's some shoes and some uh, more stuff and some fashion re some more stuff on here and some more artwork for Sweet Circuits. Oh, and Click Alt Magic and uh, Ramrock. I wasn't able to get Ramrock at this point. I think I might find one, but I do have one of all the other ones. And then it says on the back here that if your capsule jams, shake the pack and turn the dial back and forth. And it also shows you how to build a stand for your doll, which is pretty awesome. So, um, if anyone's wondering, these were $15.99 at Target. At least as in my area, that's what I was able to find them. I think it's kind of pricey, but um, we'll see. Um, it seems like there's a lot of details and a lot of work done in such a small doll. So... Let's see. So I'm supposed to turn this. I'm going to put it back a little bit here so I can turn it. So um, how do I do this? Okay. Is it going to work here? Is it going to jam? Don't be the one to jam it. Hmm. I see it coming out. There it is. I helped it a little bit. So here's our first one. These look just like capsules, guys. Yes. All right, so it looks like we have a little bit of tape on there, so I'm going to remove that tape. Okay, it wasn't tape. It was a plastic a plastic case on here, and it had a tear strip, so that was good. Okay. Rolled away from me for a second there. So, is it unscrew or pop off? Let's see here what we got in our first our first capsule. Okay, it looks like we have Okay, so it looks like we have a shirt. Um shirt top piece here. Oh weird. Look at the back of it. So it has this metallic dial on the back. So they are supposed to be robots. These are this is a really cool lot. This is a really I'm pretty impressed already. All right, and she's wearing, and she's got a really, really light pink tone uh, to her skin. So I don't know if that's going to be um, all of them or just for this line. I'm assuming all of them are going to have this tone. So if you can mix, mix and match the skin tone. It's like a pinkish, purplish color. And um, she's wearing a really, really awesome white, I don't know if it's considered a tank top. But it ties on the shoulders and it also ties around the bust line. And it's really cool. But um, I can see that articulation, but I'm not going to play with it until we put her together. Hey. Hey, Blaze. You trying to be a part of it? Huh? You're very cute. Okay, so we're on to our next... Our next capsule. Is it going to come out? Come on, capsule. I'm probably having a hard time with it because I'm doing one hand. I know, I know. Where is my tripod? So I can stop making everybody seasick. Okay. There's a tear strip again. So it looks like, are all the bags the same color for all of them? Or do you think maybe they're just pink for, like pink and, maybe, I wonder if the, um, the capsule colors are different colors for the other capsule chicks from different from the different collections. We'll have to keep an eye on that. So here's our second bag here. Let's see. I, I, oh, we have shoes. Something else in here too. The shoes are really awesome, guys. 
Oh, I think it's a purse. Oh, wow. So it's, um, it's pearlescent. I want to say, like, a burgundy? A burgundy... Yeah, like, pearlescent burgundy or something. And the shoes are both... Are the shoes the same color? I can't tell. Yeah, the shoes are the same color. And they're these cute little... They're sandals that have a, a climbing tie. It's going to probably go around the ankles and the heels. But I'm going to hide these from Blaze. Oh, oh, and I almost lost this, too. I didn't see that in there. Let's see if I can get you guys to focus on that. It's a little bangle bracelet that's purple. So, yeah, I don't... <laughs> Be careful. Be careful with your accessories, guys. The small ones. Okay, and surprise number three. Let's see if we can get it to come out. Come on now. Come on, surprise. How come mine's the only one that's jamming? Okay. Oh, wait. Come on now. There it is. All right. Here's our third surprise here. Sorry if this video is going to end up being too, being a long video, but I'm actually enjoying this. I want to get all $15 worth of my, my opening here. You guys will probably know who the girl is um, by the title, but I don't know who I'm getting right now, and it is random. Feels like it might be your head. Okay. Yep, it's her head. And I think maybe a stand top? Is that all that was in there? Okay. I don't want to lose anything. Here you go, Blaze. Ready? Go get it. So here's the head. It's a very bizarre. Um, it looks like she has um, violet eyes. They are the paint on it is very very shiny. Um, you can see it's shining in the, and it almost looks like she has. She, she, yeah, she definitely has stars in her eyes, and she's looking to the right. There's only one star on this eye, and then the other star is just a little twinkle. So I can't. I don't know if it's supposed to be that way, or that's just how the paint came out on it, but it's, it, it, they're interesting eyes. They don't match. Uh, she has like a orangey red lip, and look at her, look at her ears, guys. They're so weird. They're like little holes. And she has um, blue eyeshadow. And that's the back of her head. Isn't that so weird? So, let's hope that we get some sort of hair. I'm usually kind of against buildables because I feel like <laughs> I feel like buildables are um, us doing half the work for the companies. So you pay, you're paying more. You're kind of paying more for to do their job. But I think this is executed very very nice. I really like the. Uh, dispenser type gimmick to this. Okay, so here's what's in capsule number four. Oh, here is our um, our body. Um, not really much to see here, but if you guys look really, really closely, and I'll see if I can, I can get it in close on this. You can see that um, her, her legs... And her feet are very cyborg-like. You can see um, all that circuit circuitry kind of thing, I guess you want to say. All the way down from her belly button, all the way down to her legs. You can see that in the articulation, too. Whoa, look at her cute little toes. Oh, man. All right, let's see here. Oh, and here is a skirt. And it's all done up in, uh, it's all pearlescent. Peach. And then you have a like a pearlescent white here. 
and a little bit of teal or green, sea green. So we didn't get uh, fabric, at least not so far. I think that's all that was in here. So we have one more capsule left. I'm hoping it's hair, because if it's not, we're going to have a weird-looking, bald, alien robot-looking girl. Okay. There's a lot in this one. It feels like the hair's really long. I'd also like to note that this last one, um, it had a tear strip on it, and the paper bag feels a little bit different, like less metallic-y. Oh, wow, okay. So, we have a Sierra that's also done in um, the pearlescent pe uh, peach with a bunch of different hearts on it, so that's pretty cool. And we have super sparkly blonde hair here. There's the back, I guess, and here's the front. So, I'm going to go ahead and put everything together, and we'll show you who we got. So, um, the bottom of the capsule actually transforms into a um, a stand for your doll, I think. I don't know if I'm supposed to turn this. Okay, I see. Yeah, you do turn it. So there you go. There's the stand. That's pretty cool. That's pretty unique. So, um, does it matter which one I use? No. So, yeah. Um, here's our girl. I not, I don't know what her name is. I don't think they have names, I guess. They're basically like we just built a robot. Uh, we just built a robot fashion model. Um, I do know that we got these eyes right here. And um, they look exactly like the ones on here. So um, there's nothing wrong with my eyes. It says that they're, the, they're GGF. Oh, eight eyes. So um, there's eight different eyes you can get in this collection, I suppose. I don't know if there's eight different um, if there's eight different eyes you can get in this collection, or if there's eight different eyes just in general. I'm not entirely sure about that. So um, I won't know until we open up um, our another another one. Uh, but we did get um, GGS01 sandals, and then GG GGA01 um, purse. And then we got this top, so it's the GG uh, UT01 top, and then we got um, uh, this skirt, uh, the GG LT05 skirt. So there really is no name for our girl, which I guess leaves it open for you to name them yourself. Um, but anyway, here she is all put together. See if I can get that to focus for you guys. Um, I think she's pretty awesome overall. I, I am super impressed. Um, I can't wait to get more. <laughs> um, I probably won't get more than four because, um, the element of surprise is awesome when you're not getting a double. <laughs> um, and you don't really know, as far as I know, there's no coding or anything to know, uh, who you're getting. So, um, I probably will stop at four. I'll probably get one of each different one to show you guys. But, um, as for articulation, holy smokes. <laughs> Blaze is back for some more. Okay. So, um, her, he her head, once on, and, and they do go on very, everything pops on pretty good. Pretty tight. So, her head goes back and forth. I don't know if she does, if it does with her hair. Hold on. Yes, her head's on um, a ball joint, as you guys saw before. So it does go back and forth and up and down. Um, her shoulders, I was having a little, I'm having a little bit hard time with this one particular shoulder. I think it's just really, really tight. Um, but it goes up and down and back and forth. And she has elbow joints that go up and down. She has wrist joints. I, I, I can't even like gather myself. Oh, and her waist, her waist twists back and forth and up and down. Um... You can also, now it's a little bit difficult in this type of dress, uh, but she can sit. She does have um, 
hip joints so she can spread her legs out and uh, sit, but not in this dress, which is a bummer. Um, <laughs> I guess she's just going to have to be displayed on her stand, which is awesome that she has one. Um, so she has knee joints and she also has, um, she also can point her toes, not in the, not in these shoes though. And, um, one other note to note, uh, the shoes were a little bit difficult to put on, but once they went on, they're, they're on like really, really tight and you can pull them off if you want to. Um, also there is a left and right foot. I noticed as well. I could be wrong, but it feels like it was. Um, other than that, I, I really don't have much complaints. Um, so I guess the outfits that you get in each I guess everything is random. So I'm, I'm assuming, the way it seems anyway, is that I could probably get one of these hairs with... Or one of, I could probably end up with this girl's hair right here. And, um, I don't know, and this skirt with a different pair of shoes. So I guess you really just don't know what you're getting inside it. It really is random. So I guess they all have this, this tint of skin. Like I said, I, I have no... I mean, the price point, I guess, I think it's proper. Because look at all the articulation you're getting. I, you're getting a stand, you're getting articulation, you're getting a lot of good detail. Um, I do, do I wish, yeah, I do kind of wish that all the clothing on these dolls were fabric, because I prefer fabric, but, um, I, I think it just goes good with the figure. It, it's, a, it's, it's an action figure, in a way, so an action figures don't have clothing. Let me just show you what she looks like on top of the stand here. So the, the stand has um, two little uh, click points for the for the legs. And here she is on her stand. Here's our girl from the Giga Glam. Pretty awesome, guys. I actually have convinced myself that I'm probably going to open the next one tomorrow. <laughs> So stay tuned tomorrow for a ne another Capsule Girl opening. <laughs> um, if you like this video, go ahead, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And me and Blaze, we'll see you tomorrow. Right, Blaze? Bye, guys.